Okay, display is a design alignment in this example job. So if I put my cursor over it, it comes up with alignment one. So at this stage, there's only one design on there. So what I'll do is I'll go into design roads, open up my alignment one. To display the three panels, which is a plan view, cross-sectional view and a profile view of the current design. So I've got my I've got my templates all set. So what we're going to be doing is creating additional design surfaces but using the same template. So the, the template or the, that won't change but the profiles will change. So the first thing you do is click in the cross section panel which brings up the cross section on the menu bar at the top. Click on cross section and then select under surface the option add comes up with add surface name so what you do is just type over that name that's in there and i'll call it trial one select the design surface type and tick copy current data and then go ok you'll notice up the top on the properties bar it's now got trial one you Click onto the, uh, the surface there, which is currently on design, select draw one and change the colour to something else other than red. So now it's changed the colour to that. So in effect what you can do is when you click on the profile section there and pick profile on the menu bar at the top, you can either move the, addition, the current IPs, vertical curve IPs, or you can change you can also change the length and position of them so you can drag those horizontally and change the vertical curve lengths so what we're going to do is in this instance is I'm going to click on that uh, IP there and I'm just going to move it so I'm going to move it IP move it somewhere to something different and put it there and same with this one I'll just Click in the space so it's deactivated. Select move IP, snap that IP there, and just drag it to some other position. Obviously, you can't drag it too far left or right because of the length of the vertical curve in there. So I'll just place that in a different position and there. So at this stage, it still only shows what the design is duplicating the design service. So what you have to do is go to design, compute design. And now it shows that was a previous one we had did, which is called the surface called design, and this is called trial one. So it's now changed it based on the movement of what we did on the profile there. So you could then go through and run a volumes report just to see how the volumes stack up. And then if you like, you can go and click on the cross section panel again, add another surface, and call this trial two. Again, you pick the surface type as design, copy current data, must be ticked, and then go OK. Let's change that to trial 2, go to the properties bar and change that to trial 2, and pick another, another colour. So I'll pick uh, pink this time. Right, so there we are. So what we can do is we can either go in here and just change the, the, the vertical curve length. I might make that one, say, 50. Okay. And then click on this one down here and change that to 60. Okay. So now it's changed the vertical curve lengths for those two IPs. And what I can do also, because the first one is now selected, Let's go to Profile and Move IP. So I can drag that around to suit. Obviously there's a gas line there and a gas line there, so you don't want to go down too far. So what I'll do is I might um, just adjust this a little bit more. Place it, say, over here. And then again, Move IP. Snap that one there and adjust, adjust it to suit. Then 
Next thing you do, because we've just moved those IPs and it's still only currently holding design and trial one. So you go to design, compute design, and as you go through the sections, which is here, you'll see the other design come up. So it's currently on the pink one, which is trial two, and I'll show the slopes, the same batters as per what was originally um, selected for that particular surface there. So after running the compute design uh, and then going through the volumes report and selecting which one would be the preferred design, so in this case we're going to be picking this one, which is the which is trial two, and I can then send this back to survey view. So we've, got, we've already computed design here, and so we click on alignment, data transfer table, and select the surface that we're going to be using, which is trial two. It's creating a new DTM instead of being designed. It's called trial two based on the, the surface name that we gave it. And we could try, we could change that number, say, to um, 03. Being the third surface. So we can prefix the num road number with uh, that string number there. And the same with the layer. So go survey string. It's got 03 there and layer. There are three. And here we've got create cut fill symbols. We can go in here and go into the settings and choose the the uh, left shoulder and right edge shoulder, a uh, right shoulder, which is going to be basically the, the last point or the last uh, leg before the actual batter incept. So I've got a cut, and for a cut batter, we're going to be applying a tadpole shape or symbol for cuts and blue for fills. So we go OK to that. and then select OK. Then we go to Update Survey, go back into Survey View, and it's now showing my Trial 2 mesh, turn that off, and there's my design completed.